I know, very different video. I am not in my bathroom, but today is going to be a hack on a purse, a bag. And I'm actually doing this because a friend of mine just recently picked herself up a speedy Louis Vuitton. And I wanted to share with you guys this particular hack that can be used for any bag. It does not have to be a speedy, it does not have to be a Louis, it can be any dump all bag. So what I mean by a dump all is one of these bags like this that has no compartments. Well, this one has like a cards compartment. It really doesn't do you any good um, other than maybe a key and a card. But this is an awfully large bag to just be dumping everything in here and not knowing where it is, as well as I will show you a little later how this collapses on itself. And it's not my favorite look. So I wanna share that with you guys. Of course, like I said, you can use this for any dump all bags and it's free. There is another alternative that you can get on Amazon, which of course I will put a picture up here and I will link in the description. If you guys have a hack, unlike mine, that you use for your dump alls, please share, would love to hear about it. So. Let's get started. I am going to pull out the hack so you guys can see um, what this bag looks like without the da, 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 towel I have shoved in here. Okay, it's strategically shoved in here, so I don't ball it up and shove it in here, okay? So I'm just gonna put this off to the side for now. And I'm going to show you guys why I basically did this hack. For me, when I got this bag, I um, didn't really love how it was collapsed on itself when you got some stuff into it. So you put a few things in here. I'll, I'll uh, give you guys an example. I'll throw my, throw my stuff in here. Okay, so like this is like half of what I would put in this bag. And this is what it looks like. I don't know, not my favorite. It just kind of feel like this could do better. So what I decided to do was strategically roll this towel up and stick it in here. What it does for the inside of the bag is give you some compartments, which is very helpful, as well as it holds its lovely shape. So this is a beautiful, beautiful shaped bag. The minute you get everything in here is no longer a beautifully shaped bag. So what I decided to do was fix the problem. What I got was a very large towel and I rolled it in a strategic way to create myself the nice shape that this has as well as to give myself a few compartments. So I went and got myself a beach towel in black. So I think they call these like um, bath towels, like the really big ones. So this is pretty large big guy and what I do is I fold it inside itself so I have about that width now there's a reason why I've chosen this width is because it's roughly two inches shorter than the bag there's a reason for that so I've got it folded like this and what I do is I roll it from this side and I roll it from this side. So rolling from both sides into the middle. What this does is creates you pretty much the same sort of shape as your bag. Flat on the bottom and coming up to this. Kind of like that. Okay. And then I shove it in. I know that you guys won't be able to see inside this bag once I get this in here and that's a, kind of the reason why I picked a black towel is so that you wouldn't be able to see there was a towel in my bag. <laughs> I thought it was kind of weird at first but now I couldn't live without it. So I get it in there. You won't be able to see but it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the two going in like this and I put my wallet in in between there so it doesn't move around and I always know where my wallet is. I then put my phone on one side. I put my keys on the other side and then where that piece of the towel isn't is where I put my eyeglass case or my sunglass case depending on the time of year. So I get that in there 
everything has its little home and it is in this beautiful shape that does not change is pretty much free. You just use one of the towels you have. It does not have to be black. And I don't know, it works so good. It's not that heavy and everything is where it needs to be. Maybe one day I'll change, I have no idea. This is definitely my go-to bag. I found that um, honestly, if I was gonna rebuy this bag, I would buy a different bag. This is a beautiful gift from someone. It was even stamped with my initials. Very thoughtful. Of course, never like get rid of it. I love it. However, if I was going to rebuy this specific bag, if you're looking at getting one of these speedies, I personally would get the bandolier because it's got the crossbody on it. I have found that this bag can fit so much even with the towel in it that going shopping it's so much easier to have this go over your shoulder and i can't do that so i think the bandolier would have been a little bit more um, useful and day-to-day -day ability to use it would have been nice the other thing that i would say is a negative about this bag and this is just so you can think about if you are even looking at getting one of these so that you are you know what it's going to be all about is the leather okay so the leather they say it patinas i hate it i absolutely hate the patina personally it looks dirty it looks gray brown it gets all gross looking and I don't love it. I really like my stuff to look the way I treat it and I treat my things really well. So the fact that this looks like I have been, you know, well, it's on camera, it doesn't look like that bad, but honestly, in, in real life, friends, it, it really does look way worse than it is. I just don't love that. So if that's something that would bother you over time, that it looks dirty versus patinaed, I would recommend to go to the brown leather. They have a brown leather that this comes in and that does not patina. It's like a nice shiny leather and it seems to stand up better. Sometimes they have these limited ones that they come out with and they don't have this particular brown leather on it and they're like all one color. That might be another option for you if this bothers you. So. Honestly, a super classic bag. I know a lot of people really love the patina. It's only a personal preference, but out of that, I would say it's the only two things that would draw this bag back. Other than that, it's a beautiful bag, especially if you can get yourself an insert that makes it easier to find your stuff inside of it. Um, I don't know, maybe they could have put a light bulb in here so you could see everything that's happening. That would be maybe another option. I hope you guys liked my hack. I know there, you can can totally go buy something for it and absolutely if you want easy go do easy grab yourself an Amazon insert you're good to go if you're like me and you just want to go and grab yourself a towel out of the linen closet perfect idea too if you guys enjoyed my video please consider subscribing below I hope you guys have a really wonderful weekend and I hope to see you guys next week bye guys